Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. This is Sharon from the House of Prayer, giving you the light descended to earth, given to Bertha Dude on December 24th, 1960. The world was held in bondage. You should understand that no one stayed on earth. No one lived in Lucifer's world which sheltered the fallen beings was able to release himself from Satan's bondage. He kept everyone shackled and would never ever have released them either for he was devoid of all love. He was purely motivated by hatred and opposition to me who is eternal love itself and from whom he too had originated. The world was held in bondage, and therefore I myself descended to earth in order to sever these fetters, to break the chains, to help the fallen beings ascend again. In order to deliver people from his power, my descent to earth was an act of greatest compassion, for this wretched state was people's own fault since they once followed him voluntarily. They existed in darkness and not even the smallest light would have been accepted by these fallen beings had I not taken pity on them and ignited a light in them in order to show them the path which leads to me back to the Father whom they once voluntarily left. This is why the light itself came into the world. The eternal light embodied itself in an infant in order to take the path as a human being on this earth. And the infant Jesus became my outer shell. I availed myself of the human form in order to accomplish the act of salvation, in order to defeat my adversary in an open battle and to wrest these souls from him who had the will and desire to return to me. I paid the purchase price for my souls. I sacrificed my life on the cross. I brought them from my adversary with my blood. Thus I started the earthly path as a human being with the birth of the boy child Jesus which already started in an unusual way because this human being called Jesus had to fulfill an unusual mission to serve me myself as a shell because the sinful human race would have been unable to endure me and my abundance of light and thus the light of eternity had to enshroud itself. Nevertheless, exceptional light shone from the infant Jesus already, yet only visible to those whose loving way of life enabled them to endure the light and who therefore were permitted to come close to me. For I knew who possessed this inner maturity and drew the few people to me who thus paid homage to me as an infant like their king for their clear souls recognized me and prayed to me my birth took place in seclusion for for the abundance of spirit which permeated the infant jesus and his birth caused the most miraculous happenings and thus a few people were able to recognize that the announcements of many prophets were coming true, who had predicted the Messiah who was to bring salvation to people in dire need, those who still believed in a God and whose hearts were willing to love expectantly, yearn for their Messiah, and their hopes were fulfilled when I was born. But they were unaware of the fact that I myself descended to earth. They were unaware their God and creator 
laid in a manger before them. Already they were seized and by sacred awe and felt drawn to the infant in the manger with their whole being. For my love shone forth to them from this infant and touched their hearts. And this was the start of my mission of giving love and of thereby awakening people's love in return. I took the life as a human being upon myself. I conformed to all laws of nature. I consciously traveled on earthly paths whose goal had been the suffering and dying on the cross. And therefore, the spirit within me occasionally broke through and expressed myself itself. I was nevertheless no more advantage than other people, for I had to overcome the pestering of everything, which was unspiritual in exactly the same way as in your task. For I wanted to exemplify for you a life as it is compiled with the Father's will who was within me. I too had to shape and spiritualize my corporal body such as the eternal love was able to take abode in it. And my way of life consistently offered me the opportunity for that. After all, I lived my life as a human being because all of you humans were meant to follow my example by preparing your body as a vessel for the divine spirit, just as I had to do and did during my early years and during the years before my actual teaching activity and the father took abode in the man Jesus who shaped himself such that he served me as a dwelling place so that I therefore as Jesus the man was full of the Holy Spirit so that I taught and performed miracles because the father himself was within me Every person can achieve this if he can only is of good will to serve the divine spirit as a vessel in which it can flow. And then every person will also be able to release himself from the adversary's bondage. For as soon as he entered into unity with me, in Jesus Christ, I myself will loosen the chains and set him free. For I lived on earth in order to redeem humanity. I brought people the light so they will find and indeed be able to cover the path which leads back to me. Back into the Father's house. Amen. John 1 verses 9 and 10. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through the world was made through him. The world did not recognize him. John eight twelve, When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life. John 9, 5 While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. John 12, 44 through 46 Then Jesus cried out, Whoever believes in me does not believe in me alone, but in the one who sent me. The one who looks at me is seeing the one who sent me. I have come into the world as a light so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. Amen.